When they gave you that opportunity to have your own like solo routine, like how did that feel? Um. Yeah, you're good. By the way, we're at a wedding, guys. Well, he's at a special occasion, so. She's obviously invited in the family. Uh, this is how Filipinos do it. Um, <laughs> Hi, greetings from the San Francisco Bay Area. Today, I am with Bailey Munoz, otherwise known as Bear Rock. You probably have seen him on So You Think You Can Dance, Disney Plus, and now you can see him on Asap Natin to Las Vegas. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing well, thank you. Well, okay, at the time of this recording, it's like a week post Asap. How have you been recovering after Asap? Oh my gosh. Um, Asap Natin to was definitely such a fun event especially to do it in my hometown in las vegas so it was good to not only perform in las vegas but also to the filipino community as well out there and um you know weeks gone by i don't even know what day it is i mean um i'm just super blessed and um yeah i've just been great and honestly i've been looking back to like all the bts with like uh, ogi and uh, all of that and it's just like it's it's good to watch and i just had such a great time are you excited to watch your segment on tv I am super excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, especially because I did ASAP when I was younger. Um, so it's definitely full circle for me to uh, perform live. And um, for me, I was just super excited to perform with AC. So for those who don't know, uh, me and AC used to compete inside that arena against each other. So it'd be like Canada versus USA. Um, I think she won that year. So they, they took the W that year. But um, instead of us competing, we had our first collab after knowing each other for so many years. So that was a definitely beautiful moment that uh, I can't wait for everyone to see. Nice. You mentioned that you're like residing in Las Vegas right now, yeah. but you're also from the Bay. So how has like, you know, being integrated into the Bay community and the Las Vegas community help you like have a huge impact on like your relationship with dance? Wow, that's a great question. First of all, I have to say it because my dad will probably say this. You know, uh, you know, I'm from Vegas, but um, I was uh, born in the Bay Area. So I guess you could say I'm from Vegas. <laughs> he loves that line. And I had to kind of mention that. But um, I, that that's a really good question. I mean, um, for me, because I grew up in Vegas, that will always be home for me. But I visit the Bay probably like 17 times in a year because my dad's side of the family is here. So um, the Bay Area is a huge part of my influence in life. Um, half of my family is here. So I think for me, as a cultural standpoint, I'm like, um, it's they both feel like home to me. So um, it's just uh, that beautiful balance that makes me me. So yeah, that kind of answers your question. Oh, definitely. Sure. Yeah, like there's there's like two different types of cultures, but then mixed together, yo, I could totally see the swag in yeah. you. And uh, like, and like, and like what, yeah, and like what you do with your artistry, but yo, it's so dope. Yeah, but you applied like your roots and everything and so you think you can dance you're the first b-boy to win so you think you can dance and you're like one of the few many like filipinos that have won so you think you can dance you won season 16 right yes so i won uh season 16 um 2019 it came back this year and i came back as an all-star which is kind of insane because uh, for someone to win the previous year to come back as an all-star was a huge honor um it rarely happens but being the first b-boy to win so you think you could dance was a dream come true um um, for me, like, I didn't know the impact I had until after the show or during, like, after we would finish the live tapings because, like, honestly, for me, it was all about just representing myself, representing where I'm from, representing my family. Um, but it was just much bigger than that. And to have, like, whole country beside me throughout that whole journey was just, like, so fulfilling. I'm, and I hope I made uh, everybody proud. And, you know, when I was younger, there was not a lot of people that um, kind of looked like me on that stage. So uh, it was important for me to represent... Uh, you know, the people of the Philippines. So winning, so you think in dance, how did that motivate you to you know showcase and highlight your roots? Highlight my roots. Um, you know, on the show, it's it's all about telling your story and it's much bigger than dance. So um, when I went on the show, um, they asked like, what can you share? What stories can you share? And I'm like, I have so much because um, I just love to give. That's, that's part of my why. But for me, it's like, what sets me apart from the show is that um, I'm a shorter guy. So uh, it was important for me to show on the show that, like, yes, I'm a b-boy, um, but, you know, I, I could do everything and uh, break the standards of what a dancer should be. So I was glad I got to uh, represent myself in that way. So So You Think You Can Dance opened so many doors for you. You now are in High School Musical, The Musical. What was it like working with Disney? Um, 
actually it was crazy um i used to do a lot at disney when i was younger i was on like shake it up austin alley for like little guest appearances but um i'm super blessed um with the opportunity for high school musical the musical the series season three that's that's a tongue twister because i'm a, actually a big fan of the show uh, me and my sister watch you know at, weekly when it drops so to be part of season three was such a huge honor then i got like olivia rodrigo like look at her you know where she started with the show and look at her now it's super inspirational so um to be uh you know that filipino boy in the show is pretty cool um it was crazy because i got casted as a dancer the executive producer uh tim federley believed in me so much and the other producers that um you know they uh they gave me crash on the show so which was so cool so i i got to do what i love which is dance and uh, i got to do a little acting which was so dope because those kids are unreal they're super talented and um i'm so glad i got to learn and experience that journey with them in addition to working with olivia rodrigo you've been in projects with so many well-known entertainers how did that experience like have a huge impact on your artistry my artistry um yes I've been super fortunate to work on some amazing projects with some amazing people. Um, for me, it's like, I don't know, like looking back on it, because I started at a really young age in, uh, the, in uh, uh, the U.S. industry. So um, I was experienced to a lot and some I remember, some I don't. But I just remember like being in the room with Justin Bieber, Chris Brown, Beyonce. It was just like very starstruck. I was very starstruck. But yet they were like all human. Um, but re what really like inspired me was their work ethic. So I think I really adapted their work ethic. Um, but it was crazy because going back to like, you know, um, I was starstruck. But at the end of the day, they were human. And even though I was super young, they wanted to learn from me as much as I wanted to learn from them. So it's just like um, the collaboration of different talents in the industry that I've learned throughout the years and um, just uh, honing in and finding something very authentic to myself. You mentioned that you were dancing with Gary Vee and Martin Navera. Like before walking into Orleans Arena and like going to the meet and greets, like who were you excited to see or like even meet? Definitely Gary Vee. <laughs> Point blank because because he's the dance king. Like I had to meet the dance king. Um, so I was super, super, super excited to meet him. Um, super to meet uh, Jaja, Love you, Poe. Um, I got to say my grandma and my Lola. Whoa, she was so happy to meet Kim Chu. So, you know, I had to meet Kim Chu and all of them, and which super amazing. But um, there were so many, even the younger generation, Darren. Um, I got to meet Bailey May, and his dad is awesome. Shout out to Bailey May's dad. But um, there were so many. I was just super grateful to uh, cross paths with uh, the people out in the Philippines. Nice. So when they gave you that opportunity to have your own like solo routine, like how did that feel? Obviously, being uh, when Asap reached out to me, I was just super fortunate, and it was something that I had no second thoughts. I'm like, I want to do this, um, but I'm super grateful they gave me that time to just uh, bless the stage, and I was obviously uh, honored to share the stage with some amazing people. Um, but for me uh, to dance with G Force, which is pretty cool. Shout out to Sherwin and the dancers. Thank you guys for they really because um, I had my own like solo routine, but. Um, they were so gracious. They they had like a three hour show, but they were um they so wanted to collaborate with me and uh, learn some of my moves and put it on the stage. So I'm super grateful to G Force and all of them. And I feel like we rocked the socks out of the Orleans Arena. So your routine is probably going to be like one of the most memorable routines of Asap Las Vegas. So like, how was coordinating that? Because you know you were here in the United States, G Force and AC were in the Philippines. Like, what was that like? No kidding, we had uh, probably a day and a half or two days. Literally, <laughs> AC arrived the day before and we're like, uh, you saw the video, right? And I'm like, yeah, I saw the video. He's like, uh, did you do it with any of the GeForce Nitros yet? She's like, no, did you? No? We we're in this together, so that's how we felt. And then, uh, you know, uh, for me, it's like the show must go on, and we are just so excited to get the best performance we could to uh, the crowd and ASAP. So um, that's what was like that fueled the hunger. Um, but honestly, to answer your question, like, uh, um, we are just super excited. I mean, um, yes, it was hard because they would send us videos from the Philippines and then I had to learn it just through a screen. Um, and then I had to send music. I would have uh, one of my friends edit the music and then we had to send it and then back and forth. So it was like, it was, it was hard, but it, it was all worth it for sure. Yeah, dude, you guys literally met up with each other backstage and you're like, do you know how to do this? I don't know. Let's just try it. But then you guys figured it out in like less than five minutes. It was like so was cool. I got to say, uh, AC and G-Force are true professionals. And uh, I think it's just our love for performing that really like shine through uh, to everybody. Yeah, and to like clarify also, you guys only did like rehearsals on stage like once. Yes. 
Once. <laughs> Once. <laughs> in comparison to the singers, they did it like three times. Oh yeah, I heard. Yeah. That was crazy. You guys did it once, so yeah. like it was amazing. Yeah, they're they're amazing, true professionals for sure. Yeah. So ever since you worked on ASAP Las Vegas, how has this eye-opening experience led you to connect and learn more about the Filipino culture? I am super grateful. Um, you know, I feel like uh, this was like God's timing for me for sure. Like ever since I won the show, I've been making it a point. Um, unfortunately because of the pandemic, to go back to the Philippines, but f to have the opportunity to perform in Las Vegas, which rarely happens. So I really took advantage of the opportunity and uh, I'm super excited. I want to go back. Like I've been talking to some people and uh, hopefully like I could come back ne early next year or in the summer next year. And I really want to, you know, um, go back and connect with the roots out there and um, super inspired and super grateful. How's your Tagalog? Um, I got to brush up a lot. <laughs> I think we all do. Like, yeah, Rosetta right. Stone is going to be, like, probably your homie. Right, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so for the last question, you know, you're so in touch with here, being in the United States, connecting so with so many communities of different backgrounds, and then now you're, like, touching with, like, the Philippine industry and the Filipino community. Like, after ASAP airs, a lot of people are going to probably be, like, going on your Instagram and seeing, like, your craft and even your family videos that, guys, like, they do, like, family <laughs> routines. Yeah. It's so Oh, cool. So with that, how do you see yourself continuing to bridge the gap between different communities while highlighting the Filipino culture? Mm -hmm. I think um, the best way I could serve, because that's that's a lot of thing to live up to. <laughs> but for me, it's always doing what I love. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a great support system, which is my family. Um, I love them to death. Um, but then also catering to my why. And um, I hope I could show and everyone could take away from my performances uh, my love for what I do and perform. And uh, my biggest why is uh, making people feel something. So whether I perform or I speak or I just meet somebody, I just want to have that instant inspiration. I want to keep inspiring the world. And uh, that, like, I want to, I want to, um, you know, hopefully inspire and uh, give back more to my Philippine roots and uh, hopefully come back and, you know, dance it all out. You never know. I'll be there soon. I know you're a busy guy. You're going to be traveling around the United States, like, until, like, the year end. So, yeah. like... What? Where can we find you? My, my schedule is a little bit crazy. I'm actually I'm leaving for Chicago tomorrow uh, for my last road of dance stop. Um, but yeah, I've I just been because uh, I just finished another Disney Plus project that's coming out in November. Uh, it's called the Hip Hop Nutcracker. Um, so I shot that, and then I've just been performing everywhere because um, now we could perform. Um, so that's what I've been really hungry for. But yeah, hopefully enjoying the year, and enjoying the holidays, and uh, hopefully making my way to the Philippines real soon. Nice. So where can we keep up with you online? Um, you could keep up with me. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook still. Not on uh, MySpace anymore. But um, yeah, you can follow me there at uh, B-A-I-L-R-O-K at Bell Rock. Thank you for talking with thank me. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone. Maraming salamat sa support ninyong lahat.